Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a top of the line travel trailer that's perfect for a couple. This is a 2021 Coachman Freedom Express model 324 RLD. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Will's RV Reviews Tobles. It's the world's only channel giving you three things we love and three things we don't love about every RV that we review. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at a top of the line, very extremely well-built travel trailer from Coachman, the Freedom Express. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going? Good, it's really finally starting to warm up here in Florida. I'm excited to take a look at this. Wow, I just said Florida. Will, we're in Virginia! <laughs> Virginia. Yes! And um, I'm excited to take a look at this trailer. Yes, me too. I'm super excited. Will, let's begin. All right. Model is Freedom Express 324 RLD. But the actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 36 feet 11 inches. The dry weight is 8,638 pounds. And Will, do you know the hitch weight? I do not. Neither do I. It's not on the website right now. But what should it be? It should be about 800, nine, no, yeah. probably 1,000 pounds. With that yeah, with that front out. slide, probably. About there, uh, check check with your local dealership first. Right up here, this is a top of the line high-end travel trailer. Well, on this side, on okay. this side, look at this. Burr, 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 burr. Look at this BALSS 5.1 stabilization system. This is so nice. You're able to control everything like this. Power, tongue jack, everything, super nice. Propane tanks go here. And then spare tire, of course, underneath there. And then check this out. It's what's called a fiberglass front cap, okay? You look at this Freedom Express Ultralight Edition. You see how the sidewall meets front yep. wall there and there's that piece of trim? This is a regular Freedom Express where the sidewall ends here and then this caps over. Very nice, it's molded, it's more expensive to do that. And then right there you do have the windshield and this is painted white to help prevent the fading or the sun burning or whatever. Very nice front cap right there. Coming on down the side here, we do have nice fiberglass doors held up by a magnet. Really nice storage right there, all aluminum framing, lights up on the inside and everything. We do have frameless windows throughout the whole travel trailer. And look how nice and long they yeah. are, this is huge. Nice power awning with LED lights. Uh, and there's also an awning right there. Do we put it out or no? Yeah, it's probably not gonna go, well. It won't not... go all the way out, yeah. so there's no point. But what's real nice is that there's two awnings right there. Coming on down the side here, we do have these nice lipper component solid steps, okay? Because this is a Coachman motorhome, because this is a Coachman travel trailer, they do use the Asdale sidewall composites, which I love. Asdale is a green-based material that will never delaminate on you. And then check this out, Will. This is a leash holder bottle opener. Psh, America. Hell yeah, I love that. That's all you need, dogs and beer, right? Beer and my dogs, yes sir. <laughs> and then look at these tires, Will. They're the Castle Rocks, I love those. ST225-75R15. And look at that wide apart spread axle right there. Right here, this is a little clippy for um, if you want that tabletop right there. And then check this out. Will, is this a bunkhouse? It sure is. No, it's not. Oh, do that again. No, 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 I'm keeping that in there. <laughs> no, I thought it was. Well, is this a bunkhouse? No. No, and the reason why you thought it was is because there's an outside kitchen. Right. Most time, rear livings don't have these type of outside kitchens. That's why it's fantastic. <laughs> right there, we do have a refrigerator. What's funny is, if I would have messed that up, I would have chopped that out of the video. <laughs> but because it was you, well, I'm keeping it in. We got storage up there and more charge storage and now you guys are probably wondering well hey matt why are you being so mild, mean to will well you guys don't know how will drives on a golf cart <laughs> so very nice kitchen and there's your slam let's door coming around the back we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky uh 
it is prepped for a Voyager backup camera. Also, it does have a one-piece PVC roof. I don't know who. I what think they the coachmen are using the PVC roof. Doesn't matter. Let's go up there and take a look. All right. Here we go now. Okay, up here on the roof, you can see this is a nice one-piece roof. We do have one air conditioning unit. It is a domatic, and it is prepped for the second air conditioning unit. Right there's your wine guard digital antenna, and you can see there that it is ready for Max Air fans. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. One of the RV sales is gonna take his fat ass up on the roof, show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Will, what's up with all this pollen? crazy. Can you see that on camera or no? I don't think so. Man, I'm all green and stuff. Finishing up, 50 amp power cord goes there. Will, there was only one AC unit on the roof. Oh, really? I know why, I know why. Um, normally, they would just option it with the second one, but with the AC shortages, uh, and with this being a Northern store, that kind of makes sense. Finishing up. Right there, great position. This that is where you is. dump your black and gray tank. TV hookup here, water hookup there. City water, black tank flush and everything. Outdoor showers right there. And then over here. Oh, oh wow, look how deep that That's is. That's cool. Oh, it connects to under the bed. Very nice. And then here, oh, here it is. Here's your potable water fill. Potable, potable. Okay. Then the other side of that storage. Well, well, the outside of this travel trailer looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. <laughs> oh, Will. I thought you unlocked it. I must have automatically locked it. Or maybe there's somebody in there. Homeless man. There you go. Check it out. All right, we'll start up front. Got the bedroom up here. Bathroom right here. Kitchen, dining area, and the living area in the back. Now, Will, before we begin, I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsor, My Wagon. Now, in this world, what's more important to me than my wife and my family? Beer. Other than beer. Oh, your dog. Yes, my dog, Yuna. So, my Waggle is an RV pet digital thermostat reader, okay? And what it does is it lets you know the temperature and if your RV has power via the app, okay? So, if you're like me and you bring your dog camping with you, sometimes you have to leave your dog inside your RV. If you go to a restaurant or a store or the beach, okay? And what it does is it will alert you if you lose power or if it gets too warm in your RV. And the best part about it is it alerts you via email and text message. So it doesn't matter where you are, you will get a notification in time to make sure that your pet's gonna be okay. And it lets you know, hey, dinner's over, we lost power, we gotta get back to the RV. Or it's time to call up the campground and say, hey man, can you check on my dog to make sure that it doesn't get too hot. This is very important if you like to go to the beach during the summertime, or if you like to go to Florida or Arizona. And it's even more important if you have a towable RV because you don't have auto gen start to then turn your AC unit on. So if you love your pet just as much as I do, make sure you check out our friends, My Waggle. We have a custom link below. Will, we did all the work for everybody. That's right. We negotiated a great price for you guys. So all you have to do is click the link and it shows the partnership with Matt's RV Reviews. Will? Let's begin right here. You okay. know why? We've been doing reviews all day. This has to be one of the most comfortable seats I've sat in all nice. day. Nice. You know, we got really big windows with the slow rise shades. Really slow. <laughs> really slow. <laughs> there you go. Mm. Hang on. Somebody, somebody must have just yanked on this too hard. Yeah. But very slow, very slow rise shades but very nice. We do have cabinetry here, which what's great about a travel trailer is it's cabinetry that I can get to. Right. Three windows all the way around. We got these nice tabletops there, cup holders. What are they called? End tables. Yep. Right there and there. And let's say you do have guests. 
let's make this into a bed. So we can show everybody. Oops. Very nice. Is that lights back there? Where? Oh, it is. Very cool. Very cool, you know, nice trifold sofa, very nice and comfortable. I don't know why there'd be a light strip back there, do you? Mm -mm. No, I'm not sure. Oh, it probably goes under the front of the couch. Oh, okay. Yeah, it kind of goes around the bottom, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Still a pretty neat feature. I like the three windows and everything. And then over here, pillows are nice, Art Deco. Over here we have the Thomas Paine theater seats okay first we have nice cabinetry with that glow look it's a nice even glow it looks really good and right there very nice and then these theater seats oh yeah recliner seat seats real nice cup holders here for beer and water remote holder here and then will that has to be one of the biggest TVs we've seen all yeah, day. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Nice big insignia TV with a fireplace. I love how they're able to do this and still give you the outside right. kitchen. That's nice. Sound system there. Oh, in a little bit. Yep. And then guess what else I'm noticing? What's that? No, no carpet. carpet. Yep, That's no awesome. carpet on the slide out. Coachman, their logo's a little dog, so they're very pet friendly. Fully walkable roof. Doesn't save the material. I think it's PVC, don't you? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Very nice. And then right over here, the dinette. Okay, you have the booth dinette. Little drawer right there. Another drawer on this side. Okay, oh, there's your inserts. Inserts. Wow. Heavy. Nice quality. Yeah. Nice light right here. And then this one of the movable tables, which is nice. Big windows and everything. And then this does drop down to make a bed. Well, well, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this travel trailer here is... $53,460 MSRP. Sale price, as you can see there, we don't currently have a sale price, but will. We sell so many of these, I know we will be able to get everybody in America a really good sale price. Will, tell everybody how to get the best price in America. They can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com send me an email or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com there you'll see three contact me tabs if you're ready to buy this rv or any rv click tab number one that takes you to general rv and somebody from my team will get you the best price in america if you have questions about this rv not a problem click tab number two that sends an email to both will and myself and we will get back to you asap or if it's just a generalized fan question, click that third tab. And Will, it doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three, two, or one, there is one thing that every tab has in common. They're gonna get the best price in America. Will, let's continue the video. All right, sounds good. So we'll start over here. And before we do, I always interrupt you. <laughs> Look how much head height you have. Yeah, that's It's really good for in a In a travel trailer, travel trailer. Yeah. awesome. All right, so we got a nice high point microwave there. Okay. Um, over here, nice window, uh, letting some natural light. Mm -hmm. What are these for again? Is this knives? For knives? Those yeah. are for knives. That's Look at that. Got. Very. So that's cool. Hey, that's a nice feature. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, womp womp. That was a bad joke. <laughs> um, but solid surface countertops throughout the whole kitchen, which is really nice. You got some, a drawer there, a little bit of storage down here. Mm-hmm. Then up here you got some storage. Yep, very nice. Then you got a range hood here. Hood range. With a light. A three burner Magic Chef cooktop and Ooh, oven. With Magic blue lights. Chef. Oh no, no blue lights. No, no, no. Turn. Oh, there we go. Very nice. And a drawer down below. Yes, sir. 
over here, we have a nice Dometic um, two-way. Yep, two-way gas or electric uh, refrigerator right there. Yes, sir. Right here is a nice big pantry. Wow. Oh, and so I guess you can, if you don't need this much pantry space, yep, you can oh. take these out and it's like a, um, what am I trying to say? Like a closet. Yeah, very cool. That is cool. And then a little bit of storage here. Oh, no, nobody could see that well. I'm sorry. A little storage right there. Yes, sir. And like a nice little coffee yes. nook there. A couple of drawers there. Yep. And then over here is your island. Pretty good size island for a travel trailer. Wow, look, there's a little side action right there. Nice. Like Matt said, you do have these solid surface inserts. Put them, insert them. Okay, nice spray faucet, two bowl sink. There's one. There's two. Nice. There we go. And a little bit more storage down below. Yes, sir. Good stuff. Cool. Ready for the... All right, well, it's now time for the tall test. All right. Let's see. <laughs> That's so funny, y'all. You know, if you guys seen the past couple episodes, yeah. you know, they failed and they were fifth wheels. That's a nice 30 by 36 it shower. Is. This works. Yep. There's ceiling, there's height. This isn't ideal. It'd be nice if it was bigger. They almost messed up. They almost messed up. Give us a seal of approval. Bing. Very nice. Yep, you got a little uh, towel towel holder there. Okay, nice, nice area right there. Oh, wow, and that connects to the uh, bedroom right there. Oh, does it? Cool. Yep, yep, for sure. Oh, oh, snap. And look, this flips up, Will. Oh, nice, so like a little laundry sheet or something? Yes. That's cool. Oh, that's neat. Oh, man, that's so cool. And then over here is a medicine cabinet. Man, that looks like a good angle to dangle. It does. We're ending the day off right, Will. We are ending the we day. We sure are. Port. Oh, man. You know, Coachman's one of my favorite motorhomes, okay? Definitely. It doesn't get enough love in the towable sector. Right, I would agree. This is a prime pooping position. Bing! Coachman does it again. Yep, they're paying attention. Finishing up in the master bedroom. Again, look at these big windows. Very nice features. Very nice. Front slide out. Huge and nice. That's laundry laundry chute right That's cool. there. Okay. Here's more storage there. More storage there. A little awkward to get to, but more storage is better than no storage. You got storage above. That's kind of weird. You have that window there, but you don't have the side windows. Unique and different. Yeah. And look at that. Wow. Check that out here. I got this. You open them all okay. up. Okay. Got some storage here. Yes. Up top. Yes, sir. This is nice here, too. Oh, snap. Some drawers. I just saw a sign. Yeah. Did I you see the sign? Too. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's, I think they did. One more. One more. Oh. Right there. Yep. Everybody get ready. It's changing time. Oh, wait. Oh, oh no. <laughs> wow. Womp, womp, womp. Man, I was so excited. I've just been catfished. Seriously. Okay, so I do remember a lot of the Freedom Expresses are doing this. This one doesn't because it's on the slide out. But I thought it would have. That got me so excited. Did you open those drawers there? Yeah. Okay, good. Did you? Mm -hmm. oh, are you sure? Yeah. Okay. And then we got a little cabinetry here. TV backer here. And more storage there. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things you dislike? Yeah. First, false advertising. <laughs> Man, that would have made this travel trailer it killer. Really would have. I don't think you can do that with the slide out though, so. Yeah. That doesn't count. Plus, you can't get mad at them for 
trying. Like, yeah. for doing something that nobody else does. Right. But then they can't do it in all their floor plans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, first dislike. You know what? I am going to talk about that bed. Okay. I like side windows. So when we camp, I like the breeze hitting my face. Yep. It does get stuffy in here sometimes. Yeah. And, um, that's just... That's my first dislike. Yep. You know that one? That one rear window is kind of weird. I, I do like the side yeah. windows. Okay. That's one. Two. All right. Mine's going to be some of these. Um, I noticed that, like, I don't know if they're not hinged right or something, but, like, look at that. Would you look at that? You know, they're just off. Um, and several of them are. Yeah. And I just feel like maybe they're, you know, need to use, like, a little bit of a stronger hinge or something. It's not a big deal, but. And we could take care of that. Yeah. We can take, well, well, what are you saying, man? You're gonna, <laughs> are you trying to end the show for us? No. Okay, no. It's little things like that, you know, that, you know, the reality is, so one, if you want cabinetry like your house, travel trailer is gonna cost you $100,000, yep. right? This, the cabinetry does need to flex some, it does need to give, you know, uh, but I do concur. It is, and it almost even shoddy. if one broke off like, here and even there. This one. Um, but again, that's that's what we do during the PDI. Yeah. So it gets taken care of. Okay, so that's two. And then number three, this like I'm gonna say it's this seat right here. You know, it's it's a pro and a con because I'm about to comment on this in a second. But because of this space is so big, you get a really tight seating area right yep. here. Yeah. Great, so that's three things we don't like about this travel trailer. Now, it's time for three things we love about this travel trailer. You okay. ready? Yep. I love this entertainment center. Yeah. Again, it sucks that it takes it away from that, but look how big it is. It's big and awesome. That's a great TV. You have an awesome fireplace with an outside kitchen. I love that feature. Yep. That is awesome. Cool. So that's number one. Number two. All right, mine is gonna be the bedroom area. I like, um, I love the laundry chute idea. That's so cool, especially yes. if you can get to it from both sides. Yes. But then I also like, you know, they have this on a slide, and so that gives you all of this here. Oh, yeah. In addition to this, yep. really cool, nice little table, good view and everything. You're not really blocking the view. Yep. Um, and plenty of storage. Yeah, yeah, and, and with the front windshield, that view, that's awesome. Yeah. So that's two, and then number three, I'm going to say, I'm going to say the combo we love the Asdale. Yep. And we love that there's no carpet. Yep, in. exactly. And quite frankly, these colors, they're not overpowering. Nope, but they're a little different. And but it, and it's nice. In and, a good way, yeah. And, and, you know, the solid surface countertop, there's a lot of, you know, the cabinetry. I know everybody's going to comment about the cabinetry. Yeah. But overall, I mean, this is a great quality unit at a great price. Yep. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this travel trailer, please call us, text us, send us an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell or the best thing to do is to go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. In a few seconds, if you're in the market for a travel trailer like this, you're going to want to check out these two videos. There are other great couples travel trailers that are big and awesome will is there anything you want to say of course all right guys thanks so much for watching um make sure to leave down in the comments below three things you like three things you dislike um make sure also remember in our description we have the link to my waggle again we negotiated a great deal for you guys so yep. make sure to click on that link so that you can get that discount and if you don't want a good deal just go to mywaggle.com <laughs> exactly um also, make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you, absolutely, everybody, so much for watching, and we'll, we'll, we'll see, see you next time.